Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And about a week ago, my good friend Walt, K4OGO, released a video about emergency communications when, let's call it, when it hits the fan. Uh, but it doesn't need to hit the fan really hard to need emergency communications. It can be a regional happening where you have flooding, you have wind, you have bad weather that puts power and communication such as internet and cell phone networks out for a shorter or longer period of time. And Walt argued that voice communications was going to be the winner in such a scenario. And although I agree to much of what Walt says, because voice or CW is pr pretty much the easiest way to communicate while just taking a radio with you, I kind of disagree a little bit though, because when using CW or voice, you're just going to reach other hams. Okay, it's future Morton, because something had happened to my mic cable while recording half of the intro, so... Uh, um, it's not there. Well, it's there, but it's not there with audio, though. But as Walt said, voice is king. And um, just to bring it back on point, I disagree a little bit there because uh, using voice on ham radio lets you reach other hams, but it doesn't necessarily reach people outside the ham community. And there is a ham radio service made for exactly this, and that's WinLink email over ham radio. And WinLink works in a way where you connect to an RMS or WinLink node, per se. Uh, you send an email through RF, through radio, to that node, and that node puts it out on the internet for other people to arrive, and that works both ways. So you can both send and receive emails through WinLink. Furthermore, you can also use WinLink to go peer-to-peer, -peer, but that's a whole different subject, so I'm not going to get into that now. But uh, let's go back to uh, the past and see how I mounted the antenna and uh, what my station is like and uh, see if WinLink worked. And the antenna that I used is an antenna made for emergency communications. It's the Chameleon m 2. Uh, and I had a plan to do a review on this antenna, but it kind of turned out that this antenna is a glorified random wire antenna. It's a really well-built random wire antenna that is easy to deploy but it utilizes a, a lossy 5 to 1 ballon and um, a 5 meter whip and there is actually nothing that special to that antenna although it's easy to deploy and it actually works but it's it's not the holy grail of antenna so anyway that's the antenna I use since that's made for emergency purposes and it was actually a little bit windy that day so um, I was kind of at the edge of how much wind that antenna could handle on the ground spike. Anyway, as I said, let's go back, see how I mounted the antenna and um, see my equipment and see if I can actually send and receive emails in my imagined disaster case with WinLink. So back to the past. Okay, as you saw, the antenna is all set up and so is the equipment. So let's start here. First of all, the IC706 with the LDG Z100 Plus tuner and the tuner is essential for this antenna. That is again hooked up to the SB2000 radio interface that you can see here. I've done a separate video about that. And for computer, I'm using a Lenovo X230. It's not a new laptop, but it's rugged and can handle pretty much anything. In order to get this started, we're going to start the Windlink Express here. And as you can see down in the bottom right of the screen, I do not have internet 
axis now. And that's somewhat of the point. I have cheated a little bit though because I've updated the propagation, uh, the rely path reliability uh, calculations for Winlink. Uh, nonetheless though, we're in uh, Winlink here and we're going to use a VARA HF session. That's the most efficient way. And if you want to know how to set up Winlink, um, I got a couple of videos on a couple of different radios on how to set up Winlink. And I'm probably going to do one for the 706 as well at some point. But um, you can find out how to set up Winlink for your radio by just search YouTube. There are bound to be a video for it. So I'm going to press open session here and you can see another window pops up. What I'm going to do next is that I'm going to tune the radio or the antenna, press the tune button so everything's tuned. Once that is done and I'm sure I got a tune, I'm going to go to channel selection here. So let's find a 40 meter one, LA1T is the closest one, 40 meters, 59 kilometers, so that should be within reach. Let's double click that one and see what happens. I couldn't connect to this one I tried yesterday though, but I'm going to try once more. Once that is done, I'm going to press start and we're going to take a look at the VARA window here and see what happens. And you can see that VARA is trying to connect. I'm not sure if this is going to work, we'll see what happens. As you can see, it has 15 tries before it kind of times out and it doesn't look like I'm going to get a connection here. Nonetheless, though, we're going to try this. We are connected. And you can also hear the radio makes one of those VARA sounds. And if you look in the Winlink session windows, you can see what's going on, and the VAR gives you kind of a quality, um, a quality there. Let's see what happens. And you can see I'm receiving an email. And we are disconnected right now. So let's check, take a look at the email here though. And that's from LB4FH. And that was just a test message that I sent him yesterday though. But let's go ahead and prepare that we're, we're let's go ahead and continue the, we're in a disaster scenario. Um, some kind of happening that calms her down um, idea. So I'm gonna send a message and I'm gonna send this to, just gonna send it to myself. Let's go to message here, new message. And I'm gonna mark this as exercise. Not real, just so it's clear if this should go anywhere else. Disaster message. And let's type an email here. This is just an exercise. I am doing well. And besides, comes down every thing is good. That's my message. I'm going to post it to the outbox just as I did there. I'm going to go back to the session window. You can see here on the outbox it says one email in the outbox. I'm going to press start and we're establishing another connection. So let's get the VARA window in front here as well so we can see what happens there. And we are 
not connected yet actually. Hopefully we can connect to the same node once more. Took a number of tries the last time. And Winlink is a little bit like this though. Sometimes you connect on the first try, other times you can't really connect to an RMS or a node. And we are connected on the 15th try we managed to connect. So let's see what happens. And this is just running its way though. You can see that I'm sending the message. Message is sent, I am disconnected. I just got the message on my phone here. And as you can see over there, it's up there. And so it works. WinLink is a good way of just doing some emergency comms preparedness training. Because this will let you communicate with people that aren't hams and disaster or relief agencies that aren't hams. So it'll let you get the message outside the ham community. And while there are other ways, you can always ask another ham to bring the message forward. This is a direct form. And more importantly, it's asynchronous. So what that means is that you send your email, it's stored on the internet. And once you have, a me once you have the opportunity to set up your antenna and your station again you can check back and see if there are any new messages you do not need to be on for per se two-way communication here uh, which is really good because that allows you to store and forward messages so that's a good way of disaster preparedness and as i said in the intro though walt isn't wrong about sideband it's just that sideband lets you connect to other hams while this actually lets you connect outside the ham community and out to the broader internet and most disasters aren't worldwide they aren't countrywide they're local and regional which means if you have a way of getting outside your immediate disaster zone there's a good chance that you can communicate with people and let people know if you need help or if you don't need help it's as easy as that so that concludes my quick win link demo hope you like this video a little bit different than what i usually do uh, but i still hope it's useful for you if you liked it hit that like button leave a comment down below uh, there's some info in the description on how to support the channel if you want to support it a little bit more and that's it for now until next time, my friends, 7-3.